Hey gang, Tim here at Core Electronics. Today we're installing a Raspberry Pi into an Argon One case and setting up the safe shutdown button. Here on the table is everything you get in the box and a Raspberry Pi 4 Model B. Follow through as I do to set up your Pi in this case in your Makerverse. When installing, take care to connect the Raspberry Pi 4 Model B to the extension board by lining up the micro HDMI and microphone plugs. Make sure before laying the Raspberry Pi 4 and extension board into the top half of the Argon One case that the thermal pads are placed onto the case and the plastic covering has been removed from both sides. When pressing the Raspberry Pi onto the case, make sure that the GPIO pins have lined up correctly. Now, at this stage, make sure to use the smaller screws on these locations to hold the board to the top of the case. Make sure to take out the micro SD card when mounting the plastic base and use the longer screws for the external holes. Add the four little plastic feet and with that, your Argon One case has a Raspberry Pi 4 Model B installed. So with the case installed, power up the system. Once I've done that, I'm gonna be welcomed by that Raspberry Pi OS desktop and I'll be able to connect my single board computer to the internet. With that done, open up the Raspberry Pi terminal using the black icon in the top left corner. In the terminal, type the following curl line and then press enter. It's only gonna take a couple of minutes to install. You can find this line in the description below so you can just copy and paste it across. Then. Once the install has completed, restart your Raspberry Pi 4 Model B. And with that complete, you will have a fully functional safe on and off button for your Raspberry Pi. Now, if you're unable to access the Raspberry Pi terminal from your device, it is always possible to access the terminal remotely using a computer or your phone. You can do this using SSH, which will enable you to enter that line remotely into the terminal. Link down below on how to do that. The Argon One button does have some tricks up its sleeves in terms of extra functionality apart from simple safe turn on and off. For instance, if you double tap the button, it's gonna reboot a turned on Pi. Also, if you long press the button, it will force shutdown on the system. Short presses will turn on and off the Pi safely as expected. By default, Argon One cases will keep your Raspberry Pi cool and running fine. For the more advanced user, if you want to seriously overclock your system or you're running your Raspberry Pi in a hotter environment, changing the normal fan settings could be a good idea. By default, the fans will run at 10% at 55 degrees and then 55% at 60 degrees and then 100% at 65 degrees Celsius. To customize this profile, type the following into the Raspberry Pi terminal and press enter, argon1-config. Typing this will allow you to access and alter the values inside the Argon One fan speed configuration tool. From here, you can adjust to your heart's content and get every last drop of performance out of your Raspberry Pi. If you wanted to have support for the M.2 SATA SSDs, you can even upgrade any of these Argon One cases to use an M.2 expansion board. This will let you have faster boot times and have a larger storage capacity as compared to traditional micro SD cards. So, with that, until next time, stay cozy.